Dirty Girl here with another vintage haul video. Uh, this time I went to the Antiques Mall. Uh, I guess I was just like desperate to shop because I don't normally shop at Antiques Malls for inventory, but uh, I found a few things. Uh, the first day I went out I only found one little thing. I found this little Delft plate. It's hand painted and it's really cute and I paid four dollars for that. And I already have it listed. I think I listed it for $12, I think. And then the next day, I went to a different mall where I had a little better luck. Uh, I found... This is probably the cool find of the day. This is a steam pressure gauge. And it is in a brass housing. And it is old. It's a real antique. Which makes it officially steampunk. And it is made by Schaefer and Budenberg. Budenberg, something like that. Anyway, I love that it's still in its original little crate. Is that the cutest thing in the world? So, um, I paid $32 and change for that, and I think I can sell it for between $75 and $100. I'm not 100% sure yet. And then um, I found this pen, and I paid $11 for this. But I think it might be Victorian, or it, it the pen is not very long, so I don't know, but it does have a C clasp, and I, I'm not sure about it, but it's awfully pretty. I'm going to see if I can figure out for sure what it is, but it's a, a very detailed casting, and it's nice. And then I found the lady with the bargain jewelry. She had a tub, like one of those giant storage tubs, full to the brim with discounted jewelry. So I sat on the floor and I went through every piece and it took me about two hours. But I bought a whole bunch of jewelry and I got some pretty good, um, pretty good prices. It was mostly one and two dollars. I paid a little bit more for a few pieces, but nothing over five dollars. So I'm gonna just quickly go through what I've got. They're all still in the baggies because um, the baggies have the prices on them and I haven't put them in inventory yet. But uh, I'll just show you real quick what I got. I got this baggie full of tie clips and tie pins, tie tacks, and uh, some of them are broken, but this one's not. That's a nice one. Um, there's some of them that are like this. Oh no, that's a, that's a complete one. That's nice. Uh, some of them are kind of like blanks, like, uh, oh, that's a nice one, can't find one, like this. They're just plain. And I don't know if they're um, blanks to, to, or whatever, I don't know. But anyway, here's a, oops, I think it's a collar bar. Anyway, there's some nice stuff in there, and I paid $4 for that bag. I got this strand of Tiger's Eye for $3. This is a nice rhinestone pin, uh, probably from the 1950s, goes like that. Unmarked, riveted construction is good quality. No missing stones, $2 on that one. Got another, this is probably late 40s, early 50s. Good condition, has the nice riveted construction again. And that one was uh, $4. It was a little pricey. I got this little, tiny little Art Deco pin. And it's in really nice condition. And it's paid $2 for that. I got these earrings. Is there clip-on earrings. And these are marked Kramer. That's um, a good costume jewelry mark. Some Kramer things sell for very high. Uh, it's um, pre-1955 mark. And those were a dollar. I got these big old Bow pearl earrings, but they're on the um, backs are 
sterling silver. There are missing stones right here, but um, I can replace those with something. I'm thinking a rhinestone would look nice there. You know, just, I always buy sterling silver, <clears throat> and that was $2. Oops. I got this really wild thing. It's a giant shell. It's a scarf slide. I'm guessing this is from the 1980s. It's really neat, though. It was only a dollar. I couldn't pass it up. And I got these earrings, which, um, through the bag, I wasn't able to take anything out of the bags and examine it. They were sealed very, like, taped, so I couldn't open them. So I had to just kind of look through the plastic and guess on some things. I thought these might be silver because they were so tarnished, and they're, they are really heavy. Uh, after I got them out of the bag when I got home, I'm not sure, and I haven't tested them yet, but um, they are nice. And they were four dollars. It's a lot if they're not silver, but anyway. And this is a glass pearl bracelet. It has a really nice rhinestone clasp on it. And this is a uh, Trafari. It's got the old mark on it. I don't know if I'm showing you that right side up or upside down. But anyway, it's pre-1955. Pearls are in pretty good shape. And that was two dollars. And I got these adorable little dachshund pins, little twin pins. These probably come from the 1950s. They have little rhinestones on their collars and, or on their ears rather. Enamel. Those are really cute. Those were two dollars. I got this mustard seed bracelet, which I have sold the little mustard seed jewelry before. I had one of these when I was little. And if you don't know, the mustard seed, it, it refers to a Bible verse about faith, I think. Sorry, I'm, I don't know my Bible very well. Um, this is a, a nice mid-century bracelet with rhinestones in good condition. Most of this jewelry is in surprisingly good condition with no missing stones. That is not marked and it was four dollars, which is okay. And I got this Siam Silver Butterfly with the, uh, <gasps> Oh, I'm blanking what you call that. I can't remember what you call that enamel. Uh, with the little, has the little gods and goddesses on it. But, you know, it's a butterfly, it's sterling silver, it's marked sterling, and it was $5. And these are damascene earrings. They are missing the wires, but I have, I can replace those probably from Japan. Those were two dollars. And these are some dichroic glass earrings from the 80s or 90s. I don't think they may have been made by this uh, Frida Bates beadwork of the Southwest. I'm not sure. She does work with dichroic glass, but most of her stuff is much more elaborate than this. I don't know. Uh, anyway, those were uh, two dollars. I thought I might wear those. I like them. And this is a matching set of bracelet and earrings. Bracelet. Just like that. And these are the earrings. Um, I think these are not marked. No. Oh, yes, they are. Yes. Um, I'm sorry. These are old Sarah Coventry. And um, I haven't looked it up yet, but the older, uh, it's marked SAC, or Sarah Ann Coventry, I think. I think. I'm not sure about that. But um, those, those can sometimes sell for pretty much. And those were $2. I got 
this brooch. This, um, I don't think it's real silver. It's not marked or anything, but it's cute. Little flowers. That was $2. These are some cufflinks. These are by Hickok. And uh, they're just in immaculate condition. I don't think they've ever been worn. And those were $2. I got this dragonfly brooch. It's enamel and rhinestones. It's in good condition. It is marked Monet. Know what that? I don't know what those sell for, but dragonflies. Gosh, you can't mess with a dragonfly. Uh, this was a really neat piece. This is a very nice brooch, rhinestone brooch, and it is marked Coro with an older mark, pre-1955, and it is also marked Sterling. So this was probably made in the 1940s. That's when Coro, that's when all the costume designers were using sterling because they couldn't get other kinds of metals because of the war. Okay, now I can't get it back in its package. Okay. These are some Napier earrings. These are probably, I don't know, from the 70s or 80s. They're nice. They don't have any wear on them at all. They were a dollar. Oh, this is my other dragonfly pin. This has got some really beautiful enamel work on it in addition to the rhinestones. And this is also marked uh, Monet, but it's an older mark. So, yeah, that's a nice one. That was $2. Just a nice mid-century metal um, necklace. I have sold a lot of these. They have that kind of industrial, classic, simple look that people like. And that was two dollars. These are some uh, just etched metal gold tone beads double strand. has a nice old style clasp on it. So those are probably 1950s, early 1960s. And those were $2. I just sold a necklace real similar to this. Don't you do that like you sell something and then you're like, oh, I gotta buy more of that. And then you buy, well, I do this anyway, I think, well, this is great. And then I start buying it and buying it and buying it. And then all of a sudden I realize I have like five of them and they're not selling. Okay. Uh, this is cool. This. Oops. Well. Let's see if I can get this. Yeah. Okay. There we go. It's a necklace with this nice multi chain, but it's also a watch. There's a little watch inside there. And I bought this sight unseen. I wasn't able to see the watch at all. I just had to take the dealer's word for it that there was a watch in there. And it does indeed have a watch. It is made by Kent. And uh, it's an analog wind-up watch. It's Swiss. And it's 17 Joule. So that's nice. And it works. And I paid $5 for that. Anytime you can get a working wind up watch for five dollars that's good uh, I got these little cloisonne earrings yeah I know cloisonne really doesn't sell that well these are they're actually they're guilloche enamel but anyway they're little um, peacocks and they're heart shaped and they're cute and I might wear them I don't know they were a dollar and then I got this 
mother of pearl brooch in the shape of an apple. It's very sweet, and I thought that I would, in the tags, I would put a gift for teacher, or teacher gift. Uh, and that would be a nice thing to give your teacher. And it's getting toward the end of the school year. In fact, it's almost over. And the last thing, oh, my husband's home. Last thing is this, uh, hello. hello, I'm doing my video. Oh, That's okay. It's a, um, this is a moon glow resin plastic thermoset. I don't know, it has a lot of names, but anyway, 1950s to 60s. I like the color, this nice dark charcoal gray necklace. It has a neat clasp, too. Clasp is inside. Let's see if I can get this to work. Oops. Oh, yeah, there it is. It's inside the bead, so it's a fish hook. Well, maybe I can show it to you. It's a fish hook clasp. It goes like that. Okay, anyway, that's it. Uh, that's all I have to show you. These things will soon be for sale in my Etsy shop at vintagedazzle.etsy.com. There's Chloe. She heard my husband come home. She's thinking, lunch. Um... I will put links to that below and to my Etsy or my eBay uh, items. I might put the steampunk pressure gauge on eBay. I'm not sure yet. Okay, thanks. That's it. I'll see you soon. Bye.